Hello, and welcome to another episode of my Camps and Farm Let's Play. So, last episode we got all our, I'll say all our, we got our 10 cows purchased. Um, now we've come to sort of uh, autumn time, or fall, we don't have that much to do. Um, I am waiting on the grass, getting to a point where we can actually cut it. Um, it is at the point where we can cut it, but I want to get it to the second growth stage this time, just to maximise yield. So, there isn't much for us to do just now. Like, there's literally nothing. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do, we have to cut the grass before November, otherwise it we just lose it. So I'm gonna make a rest for this day and then we'll see what it's like for the end of October. If it's not any good the next time I'll see it will be um, November, so when we're about to start cutting grass. So will see you in a bit. So we did have to skip all uh, of October to get here. Um, it's now ready to harvest, so we'll get into the New Holland to get hooked up to the mower and we'll get our three grass fields done and dusted. What we also need to do is we do need to look at the pricing for the wool. As you can see in the distance we do have quite a bit of wool there. We also need to look at pricing for our barley that we have. And we also have um, our productions from our greenhouse that I have now changed to store so that we can actually um, sell at a better price. As you can see, we were at, what, 22,000 or something? And we're now down to six. Uh, that's just with the leasing costs, essentially. Um, so I'm just want to see how much milk we've got. I doubt we've got much. We only have 10 cows. But it was also just to check. We have 1600 litres. That's not terrible. Um, right, anyway, I will see you when I'm about to mow. So this will look a bit um, sketchy because we are going to be mowing through the cows. However, uh, I'm not leaving profits lying about. So we're just going to have to get on with it. So I had to top this up with some diesel because we were running pretty well when we uh, parked up last time. So this is all going to get made into silage bales. And I will need to lease a baler again because we sold the round baler. So that we could get at least a square bale our last time. And it does make it much more efficient. But it does come at a cost that we have to lease it all the time. I can't remember the cost to lease it, so yeah, we'll need to get this cut and then review our financial situation. Because we are kind of um, very low on funds. But we do have a decent amount of stuff to sell, to be honest. So we do have the three fields to do. Um, and so what I've done is I've left it to the, the next growth stage, which I just learned about, really. <laughs> um, so we've been cutting it at the first time it says ready to harvest. Apparently in doing that, you um, leave about 20% or 25%, or you lose, sorry, 25% yield. I'm not sure if that number's right, please correct me if I'm wrong, but if something like that, you do lose a proportion. Um, basically this is a way to do it, you harvest three times a year as opposed to four times with grass. Um, which isn't a bad thing, and apparently over the course it gets you 12% more yield, I believe. Again, don't quote me on that. 
But if we're doing less, less work to get more money, it's a no-brainer. I should have seen it sooner, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it would have made things a lot easier. Yeah, so we're going to get these fields all done. We do have our windrow anyway, so I'll probably just get the windrow and start it. Before we um, look at what we can sell, but I'm not sure. I might, once we get onto the bigger fields, I might just do a round and then let a worker do the grass cutting for now. And that means that we can have a look at um, prices of things that we're going to sell. So we'll do the sheep field next. And we'll probably just do the edges and then hire a worker to do the rest so that we can have a look at our um, sale prices or selling prices even, the nuns on sale there might be something good on the shop and sale but we can't afford anything so no point in really looking at the sale items at the moment we cannot afford anything so yeah, I'll get a round done on this field and then we will let a worker get on with it so that we can look at um, there's things to sell. We do actually need to just think in there when I speak about the greenhouse we probably should look at what we actually need to put into the greenhouse because uh, we s crashing into a tree there because we s rested up um, for a couple of days that means the water consumption is still happening at the greenhouse and we haven't topped up with water for a good few days. So we'll probably need to do that. So we'll just get the uh, case hooked up to the um, water carrier and get it taken down. Alright, I'm going to get this set off so we can jump into the case and then have a look at what we're doing. Okay, it's hooked up to the water carrier because I'm just guessing that we're going to need um, water and yes we definitely need water and we could do with some seeds and fertilizer possibly but that is a cost that we don't really afford at the moment um <laughs> okay we'll get the water done anyway uh let's look at what we can sell just now barley's fairly consistent everywhere it's apparently supposed to be best in December. So we're not far off being able to sell our barley. We do have a small proportion of milk. We don't have a tank for milk though, so that is a negative that we currently have. It's a decent price as well, but it's September seems to be the best price. I think we'll keep an eye on that one. Now, our silage that we're making, it's actually a decent price now, and it's supposed to be going up. Um, we do have wool is our other thing that we have. Yeah, it was these. I was uh, yeah. So they are January. That's that. We can get some for a good price hopefully soon. And I'm just looking for wool. I've probably gone past that. There we go. April. Yes, yeah, so we are quite a while off with the wool. Uh, if we need to, we will just sell probably some barley quickly, um, just to essentially pay the bills, um, nothing else. So yeah, we will get this filled up, and we will get it to the greenhouse. Hopefully by the time we get this all tipped at the warehouse, we will have our grass field cut, and then we can get on to the next one. I yeah, just stopped to look at the poplars, because they're looking... Pretty good. So I'm just dropping off the water now and we have quite a few pallets um, already of stuff here. So that is good. We're going to have to look at getting a trailer or something to get these loaded up. Huh? Yeah, that is pretty good. Right, how much water did that actually? 
14. Can't really get. Oh, so we need to check is the sheep's water as well. Sheep have plenty of water. We also have 20 sheep that I probably won't keep. But yeah, I think we'll look at selling them. So I'm going to do one more trip, I think, with water. Um, just to get this thing fully topped up. So we won't see, we're at 14,000 and this takes 7, so it's not going to be far off being full. Um, yeah, I think it'll just be easier to, easier in the long run if we just do it now, so we'll do both ships. Um, I'll need to check on our worker when we go past. But when we went past the, to get here, it was halfway through, so should be okay. Yeah, I'll get this tipped, uh, I'll get filled and then tipped. And then we'll get some more grass done. So we went past and our worker had stopped, so I'm just going to get this finished and I'll do the round on the next field. And then we can leave the worker again to finish off getting our grass cut. Shouldn't take long, I do actually do a decent job on um, this field. Obviously the part where the um, sheep stuff is gets snagged on but it's just because it's been sticking in the field. So that can not be helped but yeah, it's, it's a pretty good job. Workers can be a bit iffy in this game sometimes, shall we say. Um, no, this feels not too bad. Just got this little bit to do. That'll do it. Right, and we'll get everything folded up. So we'll get this round done just to open the field up for the worker. Um, and I'll go to the sheep field just to sell the uh, new sheep that we have. It won't be much money, um, they're only worth £94 each and we have 20 of them. So it's just I don't want to be essentially eating them. <laughs> As harsh as that sounds. I know there's you could probably keep them for longer, blah blah blah, and sell them when they get to a certain age, but I'm just thinking to get rid of them now. It's probably not the most profitable thing to do, but I, I'm not really wanting more than 40 sheep at the moment. 40 is enough for us. It's the same with the cows, I really probably won't go past 30 quite a while. We're at 10 just now, so we'll let them re um, reproduce and then reproduce again, which will take a little bit of time, but I'm not too bothered about it being that slow. If we do progress faster than I'm thinking, then yeah, sure, we'll buy more, but I'm not just letting the... I know the sheep do sort of multiply faster. I don't want to be fully just gorged and doing sheep, because then we'll be cutting grass and having to keep it continually. I'll get this done, and once we've set the worker off, we'll look at the selling of these lambs. Okay, the trigger's back here. Right. So we have those ones that we want to keep, and we have our big ones that we want to keep, definitely, because they're producing wool. But we want to sell these ones. I know it's not much, we're going to lose 600, but it's just because... I don't want to feed them. And yeah, I just want the ones that the younger ones that we have to start producing wool as well. And I think 40 is a good number for us to have to just produce a bit of wool with not too much effort on our uh, or on our side of it essentially. And yeah, but we're just gonna stick with 40 and I'll just keep selling them like that. It might not be the most profitable. Um, I just want to keep the numbers down. So that's a sec load of water going in. We're not going to get it all in, I don't think. Yeah, um, just a bit short. So what we'll do now is we'll go and check on our worker, see how well he's gone on. I don't think he'll be finished the field. Um, but we will see. If he's not finished it, we will get it finished off. 
we've got quite a bit to go. I am thinking that we will let the worker finish this. And we get our bring our case back to start doing the windrowing. Just to get cracking on. Because we do own a windrower, we don't have to lease or rent one. Um, and at least get us ahead in that respect. I was expecting this to be a bit further on, but you know, we'll just have to track on. Yeah, I'll get this set off and I'll get the case hooked up to the window. So now hooked up to our control, we have the worker cutting uh, field number four. So we'll get this all done and hopefully we get this field done as we are finishing, sorry, as the worker is finishing field number four, so we can just have a straight swap onto it. And then we need to like at least in uh, a baler and wrapper again. Hopefully we'll be able to buy one at some point, um, but yeah, as you can see our funds are quite low. So we will probably have to look at possibly selling some of our um, pallets of fruit and veg that we have from our greenhouse. I think that's possibly going to be our best option to actually make a little bit of money now. I will get this all done. And we will then see where our workers that we have in grass. That's the sheep field and we're done. So I'll drop this back off at the main farm and then we'll get back in the windrow. I just got here and realised this is not where we keep the lawnmower so I need to take it out to the cow shed where all the other grass stuff is. I am semi-organised but I do forget where we keep everything. Right, off to another farm. So the New Holland is hooked up to the front loader. Um, I've dropped the bale spikes off at the uh, bales in the silage pit that we have. And I'll take this and start doing a round, or two rounds, on field four. So this is definitely the better way to do it, unlike we did it the last time. Um, and we just let the worker go and then we had to tidy up because that was a mess. Um, yeah, this is definitely the better way to do it. So yeah, I'll get two rounds done and then I will see you guys at the greenhouse. So I've got my pallet forks. What I've realised when I've checked for the prices, we are going to have to drive some way to sell these. So I am going to get some sort of cheap trailer, I think. Um, and then I'll be back, so bear with me. So we now have at least a trailer, and it was the cheapest trailer I could find. Um, I think we're paying like 400 for it, unless we use it for more than an hour. We will have to keep it for our bales, I think, because we're just not going to have enough money to do much. Maybe we should have kept this to just sell it straight away. That was different. Okay, let's try that again, because that one did not go to plan. 
So that is them all loaded. Um, I did revert to super strength because every time I picked them up with these forks, they were either bugging out and flying around, or they came flying off my forks. Maybe I was doing it the wrong way, but it was just easier to get it done with super strength. Um, I am considering getting like an auto load trailer. Some people might find cheating, um, but it's just for me, it's just uh, simpler for this. I can still stick into the paying for the more expensive um, auto stacker baler and I'll load my bales individually. I don't load in bales as I'm not great at, but it's a lot easier than those pallets were. So ooh, we need to actually check where we can sell these. General store looks like it's the best place, which I believe is the one up past our farm. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I'll nip up there. We'll check on the case as we go past. And yeah, get these sold and see how much money it actually brings in. I'm hoping for a decent amount. We do have a baler to rent and our costs for tomorrow to pay for might be touch and go. I'll see you when we get up to the sale point. It's going up anyway. Well, I wouldn't go down, so <laughs> paying them to take our products away from us. Yeah, not bad. We've got 5,000. I don't know if that is going to be enough. Um, might need to look at selling some bales or something that we have. Is that a good price? It's not a terrible price, to be honest. So the biogas plant is paying them more. And it produces digestate and all that stuff, and then we'd have to pay for the running of it. Um, general stores there. So I think we're going to go to the biogas plant, because that means we can get some digestate going. Anyway. Yeah, let's load up a few. And get that seen to. We still need to get Sheepfield uh, Windroad. And we need to look at the um, I'm just trying to turn around here. Probably close the gate so the cows don't run away. But they don't seem to, so that's good. Very, very well educated cows. Yeah, so we still need to bail whether we do that this episode or not. We will see. for the widen them out. What is this a stupid idea? Oh yeah, that was probably one of my dumber ideas. We've got two wheels on the ground. This is not gonna go well. And this is why I am not very good with the front loader. Ambitious, but rubbish. I'd say I just need more practice, but I genuinely think I just need um, to totally learn how to use it again. It did go too bad. We're on a roll. Yes, God, that's a sausage. Right, it's going to be hot. So I was going for six, but five fit, so that's okay. Five should guess like ten, oh, well, not ten grand, but near enough. Okay, that was um, highly intense of work. I'll hook this up and I need to go and check on the worker because I think it flashed to say it was finished when I was doing bits there. So yeah, we've finished field four. 
So I am going to do a round on this field. And again, let the worker do his thing. So then we can go and get the baler and things done. Or at least. I think I'll need to do two rounds again just because last time he kept getting stuck in the other field. So yeah, I'll crack on with this. And I'll see you back in the other chapter. Okay, so we have our worker set off on the sheep field. And now we need to get to the biogas plant. we do own, I think. Yeah, it's part of the communal ground, so we do actually have it as a production facility. So we'll see how much this brings in by tomorrow. Um, we will need to go back to the shop to look at getting a baler. Because we do need to get this Gra this grass picked up and bailed. It is going to get dark soon. So it might be a job for tomorrow. So I think I just dumped one in there. And then burn it on. the bale. Oh no, it takes us to the production. Okay, well, so we do have... Um, activate. Oh, so that's running now. Now we just need to get the next four in. Should get the money for this tomorrow once it's all through. Um, is this the only way we can go back to the shop? Pretty much, you just end up going the same way. Okay, I think we're going to just have to finish that field ourselves. So I will skip to the case and we'll get that finished. Um, I like the case just doesn't like this end of the field. Um, not sure why it kept stopping there. It was the same distance at the top end, but oh well. We'll get this done. And once we are, f once we're finished, I think I'll park up and I'll get the um, new haul in the back of the farm as well. And then I think it is rest of the morning, and then we'll get our bailer. And hopefully we'll see where the money's at as well, just to make sure that we're not going to go bankrupt getting a bailer. If we can get the bales wrapped as well, that means we can just sell them straight away. Well, not straight away, obviously, once they're fermented, which takes uh, about a day and a bit. So yeah, I'll get this done. And I'll probably see you tomorrow. Good morning. Um, I am at the cow shed. This is where I left the trailer. Um, don't seem to have lost much money as I thought. We seem to get a lot more from the biogas plant than I was thinking. So that's almost a thousand pounds per um, thousand litres. So yeah, it was definitely worth taking it to the biogas plant. <laughs> Um, that's our 9,000 costs, which is miscellaneous, which is for the field distance, so we've got another 9,000 to go, but we are covered for today. So I think what we'll do, to we'll head to the shop, and we will get our baler. I just realised I've got this trailer, and I'm not sure what I'm doing with that. I think we're just going to keep the trailer here. Because it's not very much to lease, and it just means that we can 
use it for bales if we can't afford to get the auto stacker, which I'm not sure we are going to be able to afford. Okay, what's uh, balers? Oh, should I check what's on sale? None. <laughs> balers. So I did download one, but I didn't believe the price on it. And no, the price is actually correct. It is slower. It is a lot cheaper, and we can actually afford to buy that. Like, we will have to sell stuff to cover our costs. I think it's more beneficial just to buy it, because we're going to use that a lot. Okay, that's um, another surprise purchase, but why not? So I'll get this back to the field, and we'll give this a try out before we end the episode. Okay, so let's give this new toy a spin. We've got it set, so we need to be able to wrap these anyway, so we have to have a 220. It can go up to 240, so it can do exactly what the bigger ones can do. It's just a much older model and cheaper, and obviously goes a bit slower. I'm going to have to jump out and close this gate. I forgot that I had it open. It looks like a really cool model. I like how you can see inside it. That's pretty nice. It says it's supposed to be able to take 100 horsepower. Um, our tractor is 140. And it is okay on this bit. Turning it and hills, I think, would be an issue. Doing well, so far now. Field done. Um, yes, very good mod to be honest. Like for 12,000, it is ridiculous. The Jeep, um, I do like how you can see in here and it moving about when you're going. That's I like that. And yeah, it's a really good bailer for the price. Like a really, really, really good bailer for the price. I do think it probably should have been more expensive. Um, the cheapest one's about 120 for a new one. This is an older style. Granted, it does everything that it does. Probably should have been 60, to be honest. But I'm not complaining. I got it for 12, so yeah. But it is a really good mod. So we are going to call it that for this episode. We have done this field we still have two more to build and then we do have to do our fertilizing and lime on the grass and also look at um we're probably gonna have to sell stuff on the next episode as well it's just a cow investigating our baler there it's just been he's just entered our baler oh well anyway thank you very much for watching um, i will see you again next week if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. You can also subscribe if you want. I do stream live Farm Simulator on Twitch. The description will be down below for that. But that is everything for today. So thank you again, and I'll see you next time.